Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on a Thursday, BOJ Thursday. Um, here's the dollar yen chart. We've had a 16 point range. What a waste of time uh, BOJ was. Uh, Nothing really to say here except for this uh, 109.72 area uh, still marks the high and is an interesting point. Um, if this does break higher, it looks like it'll be driven by the U.S. 10-year, which also looks like it's close to breaking out. The yield on the 10-year um, right now, you can see that yield on trading view at U.S. 10Y. Um, 191.6, 197.2 is, is, is the uh, sort of neckline or, or range top here. The 200 day, which is not on this chart, is at um, 202. You just have to trust me on that. 202 is a 200 day. So through 198 and 202 uh, will be sort of a range break. We haven't broken the 200 day moving average for 12 months. It was December 2018. The last time, um, I think it was maybe December 1st, or it was, it was, uh, I'm sorry, December 4th was the last time we were above the 200 day. So it's literally been over a year since we've been above it. Um, that would be interesting and could be the catalyst for dollar yen. Otherwise, just avoid it. Euro yen, we talked about being short yesterday. We had a few tries at 77, 75, no love. Um, the low today was 69, just to be more of a pain in the ass. Uh, no love, 92 here. Just square your euro in short. I mean, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Um, the vol, enough to uh, put a pike through my head. Um, anyway, moving on. We've got a couple of uh, central bank releases today we have euro suite we have the rix bank which will affect euro sweden but as you can see this has dropped four and a half percent going into what people unanimously are expecting to be hawkish everyone expects um the scandinavian country here to, to raise rates 25 basis points to take rates to zero no more negative rates um, these people are finally realizing i think it was the danish pension fund that started shouting at everyone saying listen we have to cut benefits because we're not reaching our targets why is that because negative yielding bonds screw up the whole mix so you're going to see I think the entire world move away from this um, the Scandies uh, the Scandi countries are going to are going to lead us out of this mess Sweden uh, will, will raise today I'm not trading uh, Swedish Krona. I just don't typically trade it. I've had some bad experiences with it, maybe about 10 years ago, so I just kind of avoid it. Euro Norway, we do screw around with. Um, but again, these guys are, are expected to do nothing. Their rates are 1.5. Um, not really sure what to do with it over this rate announcement, so I'm just going to leave it alone. But you can see uh, Euro Norway. Um, has come down also about 15 big figures. Um, on a longer term picture, and we talked about this with Euro Norway above 1010, this, uh, the Norwegian krone and the Swedish krone are historically incredibly over, undervalued. So they're, they're oversold. The Norwegian krone is oversold, it's undervalued, so you want to sell euros and buy Norway. This is more for a long-term trade. This should trade back to 950 uh, or lower uh, next year. Uh, we'll have to see how that pans out if you're into those long-term trades. Keep in mind, if you're short Euro, Nor Euro Norway, you the carry is working against you, so you got to be a little bit careful with that. BOE also today. Uh, first is retail sales. 130.50 is interesting. You're running right into this big, big support um, at 130. Let's call it between 129.80 and 130. There'll be some money to be made there, but I would say be very, very nimble. 
keep in mind that we do expect some knockouts at 130 the figure so there will be some funny business in the price action down there um, I guess 93 a vote of 93 would be bearish uh, dovish anything 92 is expected um, and anything closer to 90 would be hawkish you'll also get the minutes um, and you'll get the QE numbers so you got BOE as well um, looks like we got some Turkish out as well NPC meeting summary um, I don't want to get into the Turkish lira today it's been hit a bit but we don't have a dog in this fight uh, you can expect uh, the central bank to, to, to be hawkish or protect their currency towards the year end here. Um, but again, we're not really dialed into dollar turkey these days, so uh, let's just leave that alone for now. Later on in the U.S., we have uh, Philly Fed. We have um, average weekly earnings out of Canada, ADP employment change out of Canada, um, existing home sales. And then ECB Lane late in the day, um, so we got a we got a pretty busy day ahead of us. You got to pick your pick your poison here. We're going to be focusing on sterling today. Uh, the Scandies will create some vol, I think, mid morning. Uh, trade those at your peril. What do we do? We squared up the euro yen. We're watching this dollar yen, but we're we're, we're not very hopeful with a 16 point range over B, BOJ why would this go anywhere um, finally euro dollar uh, will we test this critical 111 the figure level probably at some time into this nonsense period into this holiday period but again yesterday we we had a fair crack at it right 111.10 we're 10 pips away looked like euro yen was left hand side we had every reason to, to smash this thing. Cable's getting smashed. Uh, and yet, here we are, uh, 27 choice. So, not super hopeful. But we are going to play out the string. Uh, one of the things in trading uh, is to follow your plan. Finish what you started. Uh, the plan is to trade until the end of the week. And that's what we're going to do, right? 20th of December is when we close the books so we will be here until the 20th I encourage you to do the same uh, as in follow your plan not really much else to say you can see I'm a bit sanguine about uh, all of this watching fixed income both boons and uh, US 10s are getting towards the high yields uh, of the year this is interesting We'll see if that vol spills into currencies or not. I'm going to leave it at that, people. Uh, have a good one. Got a lot of central bank business today. A few releases. Good luck out there. Make some dough. You deserve it. Talk to you all tomorrow. Ciao.